Hello, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa Buonespi, you can call me Mel, and today I'm gonna to show you a bunch of things that I reuse and repurpose in my kitchen. Things that may end up in the garbage or in the recycling that I'm repurposing and using them for my plants. In my last video, I talked about 30 plant items that you can find at the dollar store or your local discount store, but I want to follow up that video with the option that you don't always have to go and buy products for your plants or items for your plants. You can always try to repurpose and reuse certain things in your home. So as you see, I have a lot of stuff in front of me. Here's my kitchen, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So there are a few things that I will say I do save and I repurpose for my plants. So there's a variety of things. I try to categorize them because some of it is a little bit repetitive. It's just a different idea or a different option. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from the left and move to the right of the table just because the bigger items are on my left. To start off, I'm gonna be talking about some jars that I use. So there's a variety of sizes. I have some big ones that are taller and wider. I have some that are smaller. I feel like Tostitos. <laughs> not sponsored <laughs> and there's also the taller glass jars so these are great options if you want to basically provide an option of a terrarium right because it is glass you could also change up the top for like a plastic piece of saran wrap or something but these are great options if you are trying to promote higher humidity for your plant like some begonias that I know people are into um, that ultimately have to be in terrariums they have to have super high humidity in order to survive so definitely save your jars that's a great option another option is plastics so of course if you want to reduce your plastic then definitely you can try and repurpose some stuff as well for example, this is a cupcake container and because it has the four containers or the four cupcakes in here, you can always try to put some seedlings in here, some propagations, some wet sticks. And then again, if you keep the top, it provides a little terrarium and it will increase the humidity. The other option is for any hot foods. They come in these containers where the bottom is black and I've heard that you can't recycle these so you might as well reuse it, right? So you could put some sphagnum moss in this and then put some propagations on top and then you can place the dome over top and provide it bright indirect light and increase the humidity in that way. And some other options are little containers. So for example, this one's the same idea. You can put sphagnum moss here, close it, and then again, it's clear, so you can provide it bright and direct light. But then also you can use these as saucers, so you can cut them in half and then use them both as saucers, which is perfect because it's clear, it doesn't have color, and it'll match whatever decor you have. This is another option, hot food container, same thing. I might as well reuse this and then the top is clear. It's not clear like this guy here, but it still provides some light. And then a bigger option. These were chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so same thing, you put some sphagnum moss and there's some propagations. So basically all the same concept, just different sizes, different ideas. If you are taking out the garbage, taking the recycling, maybe there's some of those containers that you can keep. Especially when it comes to cardboard, if you do sell plants, then you can use things like cardboard boxes to put plants in it so that when the person picks it up, they have something to protect the plant. I definitely like to keep most of my boxes and also if you go and pick up some food or even go to a store and they give you a bag some of the bags these days are the paper bags these i definitely save and i repurpose them for when i sell a plant i'm able to just reuse these put the plant in it and away you go so try to save these if you are you know giving away some things or selling some plants going back to restaurants and stuff like that you may have received a lot of takeout containers, especially throughout the year if you ordered takeout and delivery. So you may have received a lot of these containers, which again are great options if you want to store some things, if you want to use it as a saucer, if you want to use it as a grow pot, you can just put some holes at the bottom and then use it for a smaller plant. Super effective. 
and the top you can use as a saucer as well because they're just clear you can spray paint them black white gold whatever other color and it's great because it has a little bit of a lip so if the water overflows you can catch it right away a few other options for when i sell plants i just put them in a container like this if it's like two or three small plants that i'm selling so i like to keep these going back to saucers so another example for saucers are just smaller containers that you may not have the top for so instead of throwing out the container because you can't find the lid you can just repurpose them there are some lids that are shallow but not completely flat so this is something that you can use as a saucer or also a pebble tray so i do have some options for pebble trays this is a lid where i got rid of the actual container i think so this is a great saucer or a pebble tray and if you watched my last video i talked about getting these stones at the dollar store or these pebbles at the dollar store so you can definitely use something like this put some pebbles in it put some water and away you go so definitely a great option and let's see this is an example here so this is wet sticks that i put in a small takeout container so you see here that i put some sphagnum moss and then i put some wet sticks inside i think this is syndapsis pictus exotica or uh, moonlight trubii one of them but yeah so i have a few options like this and they have been great to increase the humidity for some wet sticks a couple of other options that I have for saucers that you may want to use are candle lids. Candle lids are a great option just because they already come as a color, right? So I have black, I have gold, I have silver. And when you put the plant on top, you can barely see, you know, this different color or the plastic and they're heavy duty so they're not going to seep into your wood. So they are thicker as opposed to the plastic maybe. So save your lids if you are wanting to repurpose those. Next I have some smaller items. So again, this may sound silly or maybe even gross to people, but for some ice creams or popsicles, when you're finished eating it, that you'll have a piece of wood as the holder, right? So I actually like these because one, you can use them as labels. So if I wanted to just stick it into the soil and label the plant, or if you're selling multiple plants or if you're selling like five of one plant and you want to number them all and then add the name of who's buying it, then you can just plop this in there. It's a great option just in case you want to label something. And I found this one. I, I have a couple, but I couldn't find other ones. This is kind of like a chopstick slash label maker because, you know, you can have a little bit of space to write something. But you can use stuff like this to aerate your soil here's another chopstick aerate your soil check if the soil is wet so when you put it in and take it out it's either going to be wet or dry so you know whether or not to water your plant another option are some straws because straws not a lot of stores are giving them out just to reduce plastic use but some still are so if by accident they do give you one you can save the straw and still use it to aerate your soil you can also use them as stir sticks so when you add fertilizer to your water you can use it as a stir stick very helpful i also have these ties that you may receive on your bread or stuff like that some produce or like your potato bag or something like that I save them just because you can use them to stake your plants or wrap your plants on the post of a stake. There are some smaller ones, some longer ones, and these are actually green, which is great. So they just blend in. So you can save your ties from your produce. These are some random things. So this is from protein powder. So in the container, they come with these scoops, but in every container, they give you a new scoop. So you might as well save it and use it to either add soil to a smaller container, to blend in some uh, mediums like perlite and stuff like that into a smaller pot. So definitely an option if you wanna keep it to uh, repot something. There's also a clip. So if you ever get clips on produce, 
loops or clips on something that you buy you can also save it because you can use it to seal some bags to seal your soil bag to seal your orchid bark or perlite bag so I like them just so that I can have that option these are from Tim Hortons and from Starbucks so these are great options for grow pots because they're clear so if you want to watch the roots grow or if you're worried about a cutting rooting then a clear cup could be helpful you just put some holes at the bottom put sphagnum moss and then put the plant in there and as an example i have my melanochrysum if you are on my instagram then you would have seen my reel where i transferred this into this cup and i feel like it does love it and i like that i can see the roots through the cup and i was able to add a bamboo stick as well so that it can continue to grow. This one is just from a, a Sunday from McDonald's. A little cute cup as well that I'm going to save for a smaller propagation, just because I don't wanna go out of my way and buy a small terracotta pot from the dollar store. I can just reuse something as opposed to buying. This cup is just uh, something kind of remind myself that if there's a cup or a mug that's broken or the handle is broken, you can try to repurpose it. So this cup I actually tend to use use when I water certain plants that I want to measure the water. So when I had my fiddle leaf fig, I filled this up twice and I added some fertilizer. So I know exactly how much I'm watering the plant. And another example is a mug. Like I said, if it's broken or the handle breaks, you could just reuse this and use it for when you're repotting. So this is definitely helpful when I'm transferring soil. It, the handle is not too bad, but I mean, I wouldn't trust it to hold, you know, my hot tea or my hot coffee. So it's definitely something I've been using to repot. These little guys are little yogurt containers. I actually was just talking to someone on my Instagram because I saw that she posted her buying these yogurts and the bonus was using these glass containers for propagations. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I do the same thing. So these are the little yogurt containers that are glass and here are some propagations. You put some water in, some cuttings, and there you go, you can repurpose that. Next, I'm going to talk about some coffee filters. Again, some people like this, some people don't, but you can reuse your coffee filter by rinsing it out, letting it dry, and then cutting it in fours, and using it for the drainage hole because the water will still go through, but your soil won't fall out of the hole. So this is a great option if you wanna just put something on top of the drainage hole. And I do save them just in case because when you're repotting bigger plants, it ends up being more of an issue and you want something to kind of cover the drainage hole. The next thing I want to talk about are some produce mesh bags. So I do save those, uh, one, because I know it's not really good for the ocean or the planet to kind of just throw these in the garbage, but these are also something that people use for drainage holes. So you could just cut a piece. So definitely an option. And I mean, you don't see these because they're in the inside of the pot. So if you want to save those, you can. Another thing I want to talk about is also repurposing some of your compost. So two things that my fiance and I use are coffee grounds and eggshells. I put this in this video just because it is something else that you can repurpose. Um, so what we do is just take out the coffee grounds. Uh, when I take it off of the coffee filter, I wash this, I let this dry. And then for the eggs, I use this guy that you use to mash potatoes. And I just, it's gonna be noisy. <laughs> I just squish it down. And little by little, it will basically break down the eggshells. And then we mix it up with the coffee grounds and we put it outside in our garden, which is helpful. When I had my fiddle leaf fig, I used to put some coffee, leftover filtered, or not filtered, but watered down coffee, because that could also help some of the plants in your home. So definitely uh, keep that in mind that there are some things that you could repurpose that you could throw into compost that you can actually use for your plants. Another thing is banana peels you can use in your fertilizer, stuff like that. And I think this is one of the last things, bottles. So just any type of bottle. So here's a pop bottle. Here is some windshield washer bottle. There's a vinegar bottle over there that I just 
rinse, I let air dry, and then I put some rainwater in it because I do catch rainwater outside in my soon to be rain barrel, but right now it's coolers. I use it for my house plants. I have plants all over my house, right? So what I decide to do is put a bottle of water on every floor or in every room of my house. One stays here, one in the kitchen, one upstairs and one close to my Monstera. Just because, I mean, it could be inconvenient to go up and down the stairs when you're like, oh, you know, there's a plant that needs to be watered. So instead I have about four containers of water uh, in different rooms so that when the plants are ready, I already have the water ready to go. And one more thing I wanted to talk about or two more things is any container lids. So there's a container that I think I'm using for repotting upstairs that I don't really use the lid for anything, but you can also use it to repot. So you can just flip the lid upside down and it still has a lip around it and you can repot some stuff here. You can also use it to transfer some plants. You can use it to bottom water some plants. So again, one item, but you can use it for multiple reasons. I wanted to add this into the video, although it's kind of random, I'm not really using it right now, but it's cardboard <laughs> that you can use if you're wanting to redirect some light. Now I'm not going to turn this, but there is tin foil on one side and then there's cardboard on the other. So you may have some spaces that may benefit from redirecting light if there's only like one window in your room or maybe there's a dark corner and you want to reflect some light you can also use something like that to repurpose the cardboard repurpose the tin foil and provide more light in a space that's more of a diy if you're on a budget and don't want to spend too much on more grow lights and just want to reflect some light but i think that's the last thing i want to talk about leave a comment down below let me know if there's anything else i may have missed that you use or you repurpose in your home that you use for your plants give it a thumbs up if you did like this kind of video um, a lot of people enjoyed last week's video so i figured i might as well stay in the theme of things that you can reuse, things that you can buy for your plants. And I thought this was a great idea. Also, thank you so much. If you want to subscribe, to stick around, I would appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you soon.